Hello and welcome, it's Chris from Christopher Hull Training and welcome to this week's tutorial which is all about spine health and the importance of exercise. I'm going to be sharing with you three points which is transferable skills, building resilience and activating the glute muscles. Now, a lot of people don't realize how important exercise is for a good spine. A lot of people think they might need to go for a massage or a chiropractic adjustment or osteopathy or another therapy like that. But exercise can be just as effective as any of those therapies. Point number one is transferable skills, and there are two parts to this. First of all is movement skills, and second of all is learning how to brace. So movement skills are things like lifting, carrying, pushing, pulling, rotating, getting up, uh, uh, walking and running. So those eight sort of fundamental movements, we can use a gym, so a formal setting like a gym, we can use that to develop those skills and we can then transfer that out into everyday life. So we're not talking about traditional fitness exercise, we're talking about developing movement skills and we're using exercises as a medium and a method to be able to do that. The second one is learning how to brace. So throughout all of these different movements, so the lifting, the carrying, the pushing, the pulling, the walking, the running, the rotating, and the getting up, what we need to be able to do is learn to brace the torso. So this area here, from the, from the abdominals all the way up to the shoulders here. So what we're learning to do is if we are lifting something from the floor, if it's a very heavy object, we need to learn how to brace and stiffen the torso to be able to bear that load. Because a lot of people with lower back pain, they go to lift from the floor, but they don't brace the torso, which then puts the tension on the spine. If we can brace the torso and brace the abdominals, the obliques, the latissimus dorsi at the back, what that does is that takes it away from the spine and spreads it out across the torso. So if we're lifting and we can brace appropriately, then what we can do is take that uh, stress and tension away from the spine and onto the torso, like I mentioned during the movement skills. So the two points of transferring skills out into everyday life is number one, developing movement, and number two, learning how to brace, and learning how to brace appropriately. For heavy loads, it's a hard brace. For light loads, it's a light brace. Point number two is building resilience. Now, building resilience, might look a little bit more like normal exercise. We're talking about core exercises, and the reason we're talking about building resilience is twofold. Is number one, it's building a thick wall of muscle to be able to protect your spine, and the thicker the wall um, of muscle, the more it's gonna protect the spine. The second one is when we build that thick wall, what it allows us to do is it builds up our bank account of poor movement. So when we go out into everyday life and we find ourselves in a situation where we have to lift poorly or we have to get up off the floor poorly or push or pull poorly, whatever it might be, if we've got a nice, thick, resilient torso, it's gonna to allow us to do that. And it's not gonna necessarily break the spine, if you will. So it's, it works twofold. First of all, it builds a thick wall. And then second of all, what that allows us to do is it allows us to move poorly a little bit more. So we use this gym environment and the exercise environment to build the torso using exercises like planks, side planks, bird dogs, their progressions uh, and all their different variations. So we use that to build the torso up all around. What that then allows us to do, that fills our bank account up. So when we go out into everyday life, and we find ourselves moving poorly or sitting for long periods of time or whatever it might be, that gives us a nice full bank account so we don't go what would be into the red, which is a high risk of lower back pain. So we wanna build that bank account up nice and high so when we go into everyday life, we're able to protect our back from the, the, what could be seen as sort of everyday movement that, that is gonna to happen to us. Point number three is activating the glute muscles. A lot of people with back pain and a lot of people that want greater core strength and performance, they have what would be described as gluteal amnesia. So the glutes are asleep essentially. So what we wanna be able to do is using exercise is build that mind-muscle connection. So we can use exercises like the bridge to be able to connect the brain to the muscle. So when we go into our rotating exercises, our getting up exercises, our lifting exercises, we can access the big, powerful moving muscles of the glutes to be able to do that. 
and that again is going to take the pressure away from the lower back and move it down into the hips and down into the legs. I hope you found this useful. What we've talked about are how to use exercise to keep our spine healthy. It doesn't mean using traditional fitness exercises, it's using more things like movement skills, so developing movement skills, and using core training and core exercises that are able to build a nice thick wall around your spine so it's able to protect it. So many thanks for watching. My name is Chris from Christopher Hold Training. I look forward to speaking to you in next week's tutorial.